Hey folks, I'm John P. with Geek Beat TV, and that is the American Airlines control tower. That is the razor wire meant to keep us out. But guess what? We're going up anyway. Come on, baby. This episode of Geeky TV is brought to you by Audible.com. Okay, so we are actually up in the tower, and it's interesting because the layout is divided up for different purposes. So right now you're looking at the half of the room with people who are communicating with folks on the ground in all different departments. We're talking about the mechanics, the people who clean the airlines, the, the, I mean, the airplanes. We're talking about the uh, flight attendants. I mean, anyone on the ground who needs to interface with the tower is talking to these folks right in here. Now, on the other side of the room, we've got everyone who's trying to do command and control of the airplanes, where they're gonna put them. It's like a giant chessboard up here. They've gotta figure out where is the plane gonna go, which means they need to understand when are they gonna get here, when are they gonna leave. This station right here, actually we're looking across several different monitors. This is essentially the schedule of all the airplanes that are coming and going. So we can see all kinds of data here, like what's the flight number, where did it originate, where is it going to, and then you'll notice that they're also color coded so we can figure out how long has it been on the ground and is it late, do we need to get it out of here quick, what's the status, okay? Now, while they're at it, when they're telling these planes where to go and what to do, They've got another really interesting system over here. You remember uh, in the movies, you'd see the guys with the big flags and they're waving them at the uh, airplanes, telling them which way to go. They don't do that here anymore. They've got this new system, which actually has cameras and lasers mounted beside the gate. The, the lasers will scan the planes that are getting nearby. They can identify the plane and they can tell the plane, okay, go ahead and bring it on in. Oh, go a little bit to the left, uh, stop and you're there. So what that really does is free up the people who used to have to be swinging those flags to help with things like getting the bags off the plane quicker and moving us out from the gate much quicker. Now we keep moving around this way and we've got a whole new system that American Airlines developed in-house. No one else has got it. So you're getting the first look at it. Nobody's seen this. What we're looking at here are three different terminals. We're at DFW airport. This is terminal D, Terminal C and Terminal A. And what they're doing is they're watching as the airplanes come into the American Airlines area. So the flight control from the, the overall airport hands it off to these folks and they tell the airplanes, okay, you need to come over here and park in sec you know, gate 25, let's say. And what they're doing is they're moving these airplanes around on this little checkerboard here so they can tell what the status is uh, when their departure is going to be, when their arrival is going to be, and just generally move them around in and out of the gate. While you're in a plane, you can keep yourself occupied and happy by listening to Audible books. They're digital books that you can listen to, so your eyes and your hands can be doing other stuff, even driving or working out at the gym, whatever you want. And Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from. You won't get bored for sure. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash geepy to get a free audiobook of your choice when you sign up. All right, let's go around here and take a look at John's desk. He's the manager on duty. So this is, this is it. This is the heart of the control room. John here is keeping an eye on everything, although the rest of the team is back here running the show. Somebody's got to be, you know, keeping the bird's eye view. So he's got so many systems, it's hard to imagine how any one person watches everything. We've got a special kind of radar type unit over here that's getting signals from all around the property and telling us what airplane is in what location nearby the airport. And we're watching obviously cameras on the ground. He's got the another view of the airport from the air with real time action of the airplanes moving between the gates. 
We've got weather alerts going on over here. This is actually a program that does predictive weather pattern recognition. And then over here, now this is one of the most interesting systems. This, this whole system is dedicated to nothing but lightning strikes. That's right. They're actually quite concerned about lightning being around, not just because they don't want the planes to get hit. I mean, you know, planes are kind of engineered for that. They don't want the people on the ground to get hit. So what happens is anytime there is a lightning strike within one of these different radiuses, uh, the closer it gets in, this is the airport right here. And within about three and a half miles, anything occurring in there, they vacate all the people from the decks out here on the concrete. They got to get them inside, keep them safe. So that's what's going on in the control tower up here at American Airlines. Let's go check out some other stuff. All right, well, it's not every day that you get to go into a control tower, but it's even more rare that you get to get on the roof of one. So here we are on the, on the top of the AA control tower, and you can see it's pretty appropriate. It looks like the top of a control tower, all these antennas and cameras and everything else, okay? But what's also impressive if we turn around the other way is you've got a 20 mile view of everything around here. It's just beautiful up here. It's windy if you can't tell. But what we're doing is we're taking a look at seven different runways across an area the size of Manhattan. That's right, right here in DFW. They are controlling almost 500 flights a day in and out of uh, DFW Airport here at American Airlines. So that's it. That's our tour of the control center. Uh, thanks very much to our friends at American Airlines for hosting us, bringing us out here today. And you guys stay tuned for more of this type of coverage. Hit the little like button on that video on YouTube and subscribe if you haven't already over at youtube.com forward slash geekbtv. I'm going to go get one of those free complimentary beverages. See you later.